I think that we all have our version of the personal meltdown where you have a really bad day, a very bad experience, and you think that it's going to poison you for a long time to come. That's going to shake you up. It's going to make you feel differently and negatively about the world, about your life and your position in it. Um... To me, actually, death comes to the rescue at times like that. I uh, I think that my relationship with death is an old one. I think everyone's is, really. Um, when I first started to seriously encounter death, uh, at a very quite a young age, nobody died, but I started to actually think about the stuff they were feeding me in Catholic school, i.e. eternal heaven and eternal hell, and both ideas scared the pants off me. I thought that was just terrible. Uh, eternal heaven, I couldn't wrap my head around. That seemed just as bad as eternal hell because, okay, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So I had to grapple with that. I had to figure out whether or not I actually understood it and, given that, whether or not I believed it. <laughs> um, but the where death actually comes to the rescue uh, in my own life, and this is something that I wouldn't deign to actually tell anyone else who's in a bad situation uh, to apply to their life, but this is my experience. Uh, when I have a bad day or a bad experience or something really terrible happen, I sort of think, well, wait a minute, and this actually, this is not a technique, by the way, this just happens. Um, I usually end up sort of considering, okay, everything that I am, including this big catastrophe, uh, will one day be erased erased utterly um why worry about it i've gotten heat before a lot of it on youtube before for my attitude that death is the great undoer the great undoer of all bad things the great undoer of all uncomfortable states um and uh, omnia exunt <laughs> um but um i apply this in my own life in fact, that might be the only place any of us can really apply that kind of an attitude. Don't sweat death. Uh, don't sweat anything, because death is coming along to fix it all in the end. It's a strange sort of self-mind manipulation, but in my experience, uh, not only does it work, but it seems to actually make logical and reasonable sense to look at it this way. Thank you.